morning guys welcome to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and thanks guys for the interaction on my previous vlog it is awesome and today it's another day with another vlog obviously i'm going to attend the um, film and production masterclass in the total production so tune in we'll be together doing this together we on our way with my babies this is the campus tv crew guys ah, ah, wait, nah. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna be keeping you posted about what's gonna happen today. So tune in. This is the master class we're heading to. Are you guys ready? Ready? Yeah. Very excited. Uh -huh. Stay tuned, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> looking forward to my day today so we're gonna just set up a few things as a team and you know what it is oh look at the sun kids love <laughs> Morning, guys. Are you guys good? That's okay. Wait, which which faculty? It's fine arts. Oh, fine arts. How good? How do you guys feel to be part of this today? The master class. You feel awesome. I know it's quite interesting. How do you feel, Boogie? You look so cute, by the way. How do you feel? I could tell actually. Nice meeting you guys. Now. Hi guys, these are the videos of BT Campus TV, and this is our news reporter, our writer, article writer. If you see anything that has to do with Facebook writing and news reporting, tip is your hand. I'm joking. <laughs> And Randile, how I'm born, I can an interview about scripts. This is the guy. This is the guy behind that. And Luca, when you see me polished and filters and a good a, a girl, just know this is your production guy at VT Campus TV. And, and you know what it is, the editors in the building. In, <laughs> in order for you to watch a show and make it possible, just know this guy did all the work did all the editing pj in the building and your girl your girl you know your content creator you know your presenter you know what it is oh, content creator head and edit of editing what else yeah. give me the titles guys what else what else what else ah! <laughs> she's the editing she's the head of editing mm -hmm. uh, she's the the presenter the, the face and, of campus tv you know she's the, ah! Papa in! <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I'm told you need hands. This side is guest. Okay. Oh, there's VIP and the guest part. All right. Oh, this is going to be for their guest. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm showing you before you. Side, mm -hmm. which is easier that way um, 
because managing a whole company, you need a lot more money, more time and resources. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, if you're saying you look at the work that you've done previously as from that person, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, if that, where do they submit their projects if they want to join your production company? I just see work that they've done online. Online? So, online on the website. So, I'm going, okay. This is great. Don't get done. Sure. Let's go for it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. She's pulling through today, so they're going to judge us. DVD now, because it was DVD and I'm posting my tone. Oh, y'all are good. Give it melanin. Yes. How are you feeling, girl? Not okay. What's going on? Campuses always campuses, but they know how they are. Yeah. Right. You guys, I know that getting you soccer for good things and happiness. You want to see people happy at times. I love to be born. Keep it away. But this time, guys, you're still gonna continue with the vlog. Looking forward to the rest of the day. So you could, you saw the VIP session. You saw the guest area. You saw everything. So still preparing. People are outside chilling and socializing. You're gonna get into it. How are you, my baby? I'm okay. Right. Are you ready? As long as you're okay. No, I'm good. I'll be okay, guys. Don't worry. Because we, we have to kill this one mm. or the other. And you were bad bitch. Bad bitch is always good. We're going to get it good. together. Bad bitch is melanin. And that's on who? On Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> we have the greatest in the building. Don't play with us, y'all. Come to see me. Hey. What are you, are you doing when you have a yolk? Put respect on our name. Put respect on my name. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play with us. Oh, God. Are you ready for the conversation? Right. <laughs> so, first we know as Achimu Roka from Generations. Yes, yeah. yes. I was expecting a different response because because I am a 2K and I, I didn't really know you as Achimu Roka. Oh, I used to be. As I review my true age, right? I knew that this is my game, this is as um, Tangy or Lucas Nyati. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have that this is my game, one move it. Among us, one move it. Ah, 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 just, 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 yeah. But for now, I'll keep it. I'll keep it going with that day. Yeah, I think that's why. To save myself and the generation that I'm representing, because yeah. you guys are laughing, but you know we have to be like you. We are both intense. We are both very intense, right? So, amongst being South Africans, easily recognized faces from all his diverse roles on TV, he's also doing amazing things behind the screen. He has started his own company, the Silo Marke Ka Nube yes. Foundation. I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Which we are definitely looking forward to, look, to working with um, in the future and pairing up with your foundation, that is Silo, towards making South, the South African film industry better and building a better industry for the leaders. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome that day, Silo.
filmed. Yeah, I know you guys are watching it. I was 15 when I first saw a play. Mm. <laughs> you know, that was in 1975. Many of you have even ideas. <laughs> <laughs> what is the age group? Come on, Under 20? Yeah. 20? 20 years? Less than 20. Yeah. Okay, 21. 21. All right. 20. And I was 21 when I had my professional debut. So, <laughs> it has been a very interesting journey, you know. And I think along that time, after, you know, after what, you know, I think 76, 77, I think it was in 78, that I saw Survivor. <coughs> Survivor is a. Survivor was just five acts. Almost on a bare stage with just a lamp. And then I saw a whole world unfolding before me. Mm. And these guys drove cars on that stage, were in jail, were doing robberies. I mean, and it was like, wow. That tends to happen. People change their performance. And uh, everybody will give acting. That's bad acting. <laughs> <laughs> and being broken down. And it was given by my uncle. He used to be a, a Gibson Gantt actor, but it became in my dreams. And he said, A stands for action, C stands for creativity, T stands for technique, O stands for observation, R stands for reaction. All these five things you use as an actor. Mm. But as an actor, you have to observe life outside. Mm. Okay? But then there's also another observation that you have to do, which is internal observation. It's feeling now. You know what I mean? No, they don't. They play the feeling that is needed. So, which means as actors, you know, because sometimes we tell them we have this thing, I want to, uh, I don't know, uh, you, you can only get two takes out of this. That's not me. You say you are the master of your craft. So, which means you've got to be able to deliver on demand. You know. So, at the very first important thing that an actor has got to learn, it is that observation outside and internal observation of the sensations your body feels. So <coughs> that you create a sort of body game, a storage. You know, our minds are the computers. So you actually even would have different folders mm. for the different sensations. You know what I mean? And when you need to go, hey, I need this folder over. Let me <laughs> that folder there. And then you need it, really need it. <laughs> You know, I'd like to share with you something that was said by Bani Simon. Bani Simon was the uh, co-founder of the Market Theatre. And he once said to me, a man's work is a little more than his journey through life in order to rediscover the two or three great and simple impressions that first found access to his heart. Let me read it again. The priest would say, I don't think you heard me. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And it says, a man's work is a little more than his journey through life in order to rediscover the two or three great and simple images that first found access to his heart. And they say, watch your thoughts as they become your words. Watch your words as they become your actions. Mm. And watch your actions as they form your habit. Mm. And watch your habit as it defines your character. Hey. Thank you very much. <laughs> the way she was introducing everyone, she did exactly what I don't like it when people do. Uh, say Lo and his wife. So it just gave me something to start my conversation with, <laughs> you know. Um, because um, the nice thing is in the space that I'm in, I am a brain advisor. 
I'm a PR specialist. I am a, some people call me a marketing guru. I'm still making my way there, but I think I'm in the right direction. Um, when we engage, when I'm, I'm actually sometimes invited to speak with other business women who are in the space that I'm in or any other field or industry for that matter, is to say, how do you actually create your own space when you work with such powerful people? But more importantly, being married to such a powerful man. And um, my answer is always, there is no point for us to try and, and fight each other to try and, and, and accommodate, I mean, uh, to occupy space. You actually can create your own space. And then, um, so I want to talk about um, just five categories, basically, just who you are, how you need to respect yourself, where you are in life currently, and then where, where, where you are, literally how it's going to determine where you are going to end up in the future. And then just the education element of it, um, how, how do you need education, do you not need education? And then just um, the experience in terms of just how do you fuse everything together from business, personal life, and just making sure that you become the brand that you are born to be, because brands are born, they're not really made. Mm. You know? But then one thing that my mom actually told me was, wherever you go in life, carry yourself with, with confidence, you know, because your confidence is all that you have. You know, God gives us the same 24 hours, but then he doesn't give us certain things because we all come from different uh, backgrounds in life, you know. Um, so she would say to me, just be presentable, look clean, and, and, and respect yourself. Because when you get to an interview, after they interview the first person or the second person, they're not going to ask you to open your stomach to see what you had for, for lunch, and then they're going to give you a job based on what your parents are feeding you. You literally are going there, and it's for as long as you are full, you know what I'm saying? You've got the same opportunity to take on the, the world as the next person who's sitting next to you, you know? And then um, the other thing is just literally, um, um, I'll talk about the social media element um, in a sense that I, 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 I have this thing that I carry myself with grace and I just didn't start doing this now. When I was in high school, I'm, I'm a big fan or I was a big fan of Princess Diana. So when she got married to Charles, I was like, if she can get married to Charles, I can also get married to one of the kings in Lesotho. You have to always bring it home, you know? <laughs> so, so I was like, no, if she can do it, I can also do it. But what I didn't realize was the fact that right now we've got social media, where when you go out to dance on top of tables, your friends take videos, and your thinking is going to all end there. One day you're going to sit in a boardroom and be interviewed about how do you run an organization, how do you motivate the youth, how do you how do you do this? And then such pictures come come up, you know, later on in life. I mean, I know, for example, I've got I've got a PR team that does media monitoring, so I can tell when people Google my name what are the things that they Google for. First of all, is my age for some odd reason is the most interesting thing in the world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those things. But then secondly, um, they, they want to know if I've got children, how many times I've been married, um, my past. And you know the joy of knowing that they will get the internet upside down, left, middle, center. They will never find me dancing on top of any table. They will never find a video of me doing anything inappropriate. Because you know what, I never knew I was going to get married to Ndata Selok, but I knew I was going to get married to someone of, you know, that's how I carried myself. <laughs> yes, ma'am! Yes, girl! When I go in and go and present any of my friends, if I don't have self-respect or I have scandals and whatever, it means that whatever it is that I do in my own personal space is going to affect the people that I work with. So always strive to be that one person who who respects themselves so that the next person in the room can respect you. But more importantly, they can respect the work that you do. Mm -hmm. And having said that, I would like to Okay, my question is directed to Ms. Powell. I want to know with you, how do you find or make sure if I'm a PR company or someone that's going to be presented very well, how do you find that? And also, what does it take to be managed by you? Because, wow. <laughs> <laughs> to get to work with me. Okay. You need to um, 
have been in the industry just for a minimum of 20 years, as I said. Oh, so. I, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, what I do, I do it for free. People can afford to have a full-time PR agency. They can afford to have brand advisors. So I work with people that I know. Where, first of all, they respect themselves. They respect their brand. They are committed to what they do. So if I'm going to give you my time, work for you for free, because I know that you will make money, and I will get my 20%. If I get you a hundred million as a deal and whatever the case might be, you need to be worthy of it. So, number one, the first thing I want to just tell you about myself is that I am a rule breaker. I am a rebel. I'm the type of person who likes to go against everything particularly the industry and the system the way that it is right now. So please understand this is the first thing that I want you to know. The way that the current industry is set up is pure trash. It is nonsense. It is not accessible. It's not accessible for all of us. And you need to also take this into your hands to make sure it is accessible for you. Right? So what I'm going to be talking about is content creation and marketing yourself to make sure that you do what you want to do. Right? So number one, what I want to tell you is guys, marketing is an experience. That's what it is, man. The end user needs to feel something. And brand and marketing is essentially the same thing. So right now, you guys are marketing yourselves. Mm. By me meeting you, I'm gonna remember you by a feeling that you left with me. So therefore, you have marketed yourself to me. Whatever you do regarding yourself and your image is marketing. When we see you, the way you talk, the things you associate yourself with, the friends that you have, you're marketing yourself. So the first thing I also want to let you know is that if you want to make it in life, change your friends. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> it's going to suck. So some of you have come here with your best friend and your best friend is not here for you. Yeah? So the type of people you want to associate yourself with are honest people who are always saying to you, great, what's next? Right? You don't want to have a friend that says, ah, friend, the last thing you did didn't work. That's not the energy that you want. Thank yeah? you. Also, you trim down your friends mm -hmm. from 100 down to 10. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's painful. No, but I don't have time. And right now, it seems like I'm being brutal, but it's the truth. Once you start working, you do not have time for 100 people. You do not. Those 100 people don't care about you. 10 of your friends care about you. Man, 10 of your friends care about your projects. Look at which friends are always going, you remember that idea that you spoke to me about last week? I was thinking you could also implement it this way because those people are here to push your career and are those are the people you want to associate your brand with. Right? Number two, separate work from life. Yay, separate work from life. You need an Instagram account for your work and you need an Instagram account for fun. Your Instagram account for fun is private and only has access to your group of friends. And when they post you, they tag that account because it can't be seen by anybody else. Your work stuff is the content that you create so that people can see you on those platforms. Separate your work from life. If you are upset about something political or something, do not post it. Don't post your emotional stuff online. Keep that to yourself. I'm not joking. If you have an outburst today on social media, someone's gonna save that video. And then 30 years from now, when you are a success, ah, look at this man. He lost his shit in public. Look at him. We don't want him. Make it separate. Yeah? Also, since we're on the topic of social media, there's probably 1,000 people here that you guys possibly know. These are your first 1,000 customers. The reason why I'm saying this to you is, yes, guys, we are the arts. It's lovely. It's fantastic to act. It's beautiful to be on screen. Costume is nice. But are you eating at the end of the day? You've got bills to pay, right? So you need to think about those things. You are a business. Please, repeat after me. I am a business. I am a business. Right. And what does a business need to run? Consistency. Number one, consistency. So it means that if you guys want to make it in content creation, for example, you need to post every day. It's annoying. It's horrible. 
You need to post every single day. It is what it is. Also, when you're creating stuff, use what you have. Right? I made my first amount of money using this thing that I have. Now I have more technology to make content and create work because I work for it over, over time. But that's the end goal. You will not be rich now. Okay? Please understand. I'm not trying to be cruel. I'm just bringing truth so you understand. You will not be rich now. You're going to be poor for a long time. Okay? It's cruel, but get comfortable in it so that you don't form some sort of idea which is not real. You gotta be what? It is what it is. And once you understand your state of being now, you're comfortable in it, so you don't care about people's judgments. So if it means you need to go sell something in the street corner every single day just so you can feed yourself, you don't have time to care about opinions because you're gonna have billions, right? Focus on the billions, what these people say around you. We don't give a fuck because there, there's my billion. Ne? Stay on the root. You are the business consistency every single day, right? Now, to come back to this point, you need to know yourself. Know what problems you have, where you are lazy. I know I'm lazy. I hate getting up to do stuff. But what gets me excited is the prospect of creating something that I have dreams for. Implement school in your life so that you can execute your goals. It seems simple, but the older you get, the more we start moving away from those things. Have a schedule for yourself so that you can execute your goals. Né? Also, this is very important. Practice, 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 practice. And when I say practice, I mean create things, send them out into the world, and don't look back. Don't pay attention to the comments. Don't pay attention to the numbers. Don't pay attention to your engagement rate. Don't pay attention to the likes. Make and move on. Because if you criticize yourself, you're gonna stop yourself from making more. Just keep making. And you look at it and go, this doesn't look perfect. Perfection doesn't come in a day, guys. Perfection comes in post 1024. Now also, this is something important. You are also going to fail. Yeah. Yeah. It's important to fail, guys. If you're not failing, you're succeeding, I get worried for you. <laughs> because the failure that's coming there is going to hurt you badly because you're going to get the rhythm of crying, I've got it. You're going to fail. Now, please also note that not everyone will like you. Mm. In this room, probably 70% of you don't like me right now. <laughs> Does it matter? Nope. No. Do you know why? Because those people don't pay my bills. Yes. Okay? Always go after the people who like you. Eventually, the ones who didn't like you, they will join in and end up following you and liking you anyway. Now, this is very important, please. If there's nothing that you guys take from today, please, well, out of what I've said, please take this. No job is waiting for you. No job is guaranteed. Even when you're in the job, it's not guaranteed that you're going to keep it. So the only solution is for you to create your own, to you this. Today is the 16th of September. By the 16th of October, mm. you guys need to have created 20 pieces of work. 20. One minute each. One minute each. I'm not saying for social media. It can be anything. Create a song. Create a dance move. Create a piece of work. A play. Write a script. One minute each. 20 of them. 6th of October, then I want you to read the last thing or look at the last thing you did versus the first thing you looked at. Look at the difference and also look at the response. You're going to be shocked at the growth. By that time also you'll be addicted to it because you find it executing your dreams every single day. Mm. If you have any more questions, we can take one now, but if there was the questions we don't reach now, say an email and we can chat. Okay? Bye-bye. Shut Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. For giving me this opportunity, I don't take it lightly. I really enjoy sharing my experiences with young people. As level actually, no more, Lona, you are the industry leaders of tomorrow, and it starts today. You know, when I talk about my career or where I come from, it normally brings tears to my eyes. 
when I think about where it all started, you know, and when it started, I didn't think that I was going to see myself in this industry for the 45 years that I've been in it. I left the classroom that day, Silo Arukadudo at 1976, almost about the same time that I started because I was a teacher and there were uprisings that time and kids were not coming to school. And I saw this ad where they were looking for dancers, actors, and singers. That's how much it cost to return to Jobek during that time. So I went to the audition, not even understanding exactly what an audition is, uh, but I went. The reason I went is because I was so confident with my dance, number one. I was very confident with my singing, but I was not very sure uh, at 18. Because I come from a family which was very musical. I remember, by the way, I'm from Velgo, in the first state. You know, and sometimes you will fail. It's true. Yeah. And if you don't fail, you're not gonna learn. Yeah. So, what I want to say to you is, if you have a passion, if this is what you love from the bottom of your heart, if this is what's making you have sleepless nights at night, then this is for you. But. Well, you just want to be famous. I'm sorry, I think you are in the wrong profession. But continue working, you know, get to set, be disciplined. That's one thing about our young actors and scientists. You know, they will come to work late, but to many four. And you're like, yo, I wonder if these people understand where they are. That time, a whole crew. Have you seen when the titles go down? I'm like, you know, those are all the people that are on set that day. Keep on number 12. And then we're not going to go to four. So all those people are waiting for you. We're not going to four who you are not at work. That's being so indisciplined. You need to be disciplined. You need to read your script, study your character and everything. Because the next time we're going to go to the we're not some little driver. The next thing we can say, they will say, "Make it bad, you are now a bad." And then the next thing you can do is well. That's very unfair. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think people ask me, "How did I get it?" I, I don't know. I, I normally tell them, "It was God's time," because it's not something anymore during my career. It's something that was giving me sleepless nights. Thought, "That's why I'm in Angas Bone Hollywood." No. But at God's time, I'm going, and the, and the role that I was, the role that I'm doing this year, by who this is, and then, thank you. But I said to God, God, you know what? There's no way you can just put me at the door and not let me in. Yeah. Yeah. The second black man, I'm gonna be there. You, you're my father, but I don't want you. I don't want you to continue to have a And that's exactly what, what has happened. I don't know how I'm also being uh, conferred a, a, a lifetime award. Hollywood, I don't know where they go before this time. I'm not creative, I'm not bold, I'm not 
Interesting. Can I have a Alice Stein in? Let me not disturb you. You know. Yeah. <laughs> 